If you're about to invest in a more luxury roofing material like steel or tile or slate, watch this video first. I recently traveled from Colorado to Houston to talk to a homeowner who just installed Brava roof tile. So Brava is a synthetic roofing shingle that's designed to replace materials like steel, tile, slate, or even wood shake shingles. I wanted to find out firsthand why a homeowner would invest in a synthetic product like Brava and now what he thinks about the product after it's been installed on his roof for a while. So if you want to find out why a homeowner like yourself chose Brava over a tile roof, watch this video. David, this is this <clears throat> looks awesome. I mean, you got to be super happy with it. How kind of Walk me through the process. How did you ever even hear about Brava? The internet, right? So <laughs> like everybody, everybody and everything else. Like everybody and everything else. Yeah, so we, we were setting out to reimagine this house from a mid-century modern, one-story ranch-style home into a uh, Spanish colonial-style uh, hacienda. And so we knew that the roof was gonna be a big part of that. We wanted the clay tile look okay. of a Spanish hacienda. Right? Sure. Uh, but this this original roof structure wasn't built for that, right? So I knew that we needed something that because was lightweight. It, it couldn't support the weight. Right, it couldn't okay. support the weight, right? Uh, we did get engineers out here and we had architects that we worked with. Wow. And so we considered reinforcing the roof and, and <laughs> using a clay product. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, once I saw the Brava product, you know, we thought, God, this is better. It's better than clay. What did right? you have on here before Brava? Uh, it was a composition shingle. So okay. A, a Ray, traditional asphalt gray shingle. asphalt yeah. shingle. Right? Okay. Yeah. So putting real tile on it would have been a major upgrade. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And there would have been a lot of work to reinforce, you okay. know, the, the structure itself. So we looked, I started to look at lightweight products, lightweight alternatives, including, you know, lightweight concrete and stone coated steel. Okay. Um, we looked at, we considered all, lots of different options. Um, had lots of samples shipped to me, right? Um, but once we got the Brava product that I can compare and see, it's just such a, it's such a better product in terms of how it looks. It's beautiful. And the quality, it's, it's durable. Um, I mean, I took a hammer to it and just, just beat the Did snot really? out of it. Absolutely. I wanted to make sure it was going to last, right? Seriously. Um, you know, I got a hacksaw and hacked through the middle of it because I wanted to see, does the color go all the way through this product? Yeah. And it, and it does. I mean, it's, it's incredibly durable and you know, just how it turned out, you know, it, it, it's, I think it looks great. How long had you done research before you finally decided, okay, I'm going to go with Brava? Oh, at least a year, a year, year? and a half. Oh, for sure. For sure. We, oh we've been God. contemplating this project for a long time. And, uh, you know, we really put a lot of research into it. And, um, you know, but again, it was when, once I got the samples and was able to compare to what we'd, what we'd already seen from other products. And, you know, uh, Joel at TrueWorks, who we worked with, who did yeah. the installation, was great. And he got up on the roof and we laid them all out and looked at him in the morning, looked at him in the evening to see what the sun looks like Seriously? on him. Oh, yeah. Had neighbors come by and give us their opinions and, and really, <laughs> it's like take a poll. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, they, they got to live with it too, I guess, That's right? Because awesome. it's in the neighborhood. And uh, yeah, but it's it's yeah. I think we're we're very very happy with the decision. Now, one of the things that I remember you telling me about as we were kind of sitting in your dining room area there was how real it looks. I mean, even here we're just what is that seven feet, and so you've got a really good look at it. Yeah, and, and that, but yeah. even still, it looks to you like real real tile oh right? yeah I, I mean it's um and that was a big part of this because it's a one-story house entirely right yeah. so uh you're you are very close to it and we wanted something that was that looked very authentic uh and i think this absolutely uh absolutely does it i mean it's um everyone just always assumes that it is it is genuine clay um but you know i, I gladly tell them no it's it's not this is yeah. this is better than than a clay roof what was the tipping point for you so a year year and a half goes by you're looking at all this stuff what was like the the one determining factor where you said okay we're bravo is what we want to do yeah so <laughs> The, the truth of it is, uh, the story is we had a tree fall in the house. And so <laughs> it was, uh, uh, we had part of the roof was damaged and uh, we had to quickly patch it, 
right? Because there was actually a big storm that was, that was, that was going on. So we had to very quickly patch the roof and we ended up with some mix match colored of, you know, coloration right. of, of the shingles. And obviously I wasn't gonna live with that. So that really drove us to let's go ahead and do this, this roof replacement. And if we're gonna do it, we wanna do it the right way with the right product. And so that, that was what really tipped us uh, you know, over the edge of just of doing this thing entirely. You could have put another asphalt shingle on your house. And with that money that you spent on your Bravo roof, you could have bought a boat or you could have bought an RV, taken a nice vacation. Why a roof? Why spend all that money on a roof? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really good question. You know, um, for the project that we were doing, right, to, to transform this house the way we wanted to transform it, the roof's a big part of that, right? Yeah. I mean, the Spanish barrel tile is, is such, so characteristic, right, to the look of the hacienda that we were going yeah. for, right? So we knew that that was going to be a part of it. Um, and you can't get that look with shingles. Oh, absolutely. No. I mean, you, you, you can't, right? right. Um, and, and we considered, we talked about it. We, like I said, we had a great architect we worked with and we, we considered other options and did lots of renderings. But at the end of the day, we knew that the, the Spanish barrel tile look was what was going to be a big part of, you know, of the aesthetic and the appeal of the house at the end. Um, and so, you know, we knew we, knew we were going to go that direction, and then it was just a matter of finding the right the right product that we felt very confident in, and it was it's worth the investment. You know, yeah. if you're it's something that you see every single day. Every morning, I get up, I walk out of the bedroom, I walk down the hall, I look out the windows, and I can see the roof nice. across the courtyard, and it's it's beautiful to look at. Any time of day, it's beautiful. Okay, when you had your asphalt shingle roof, did you ever look out at the roof and you think, ah, that's a, such a great roof. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I got to replace that roof yes, sooner or later. Right, yeah. yeah. But no, I, 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 I love looking at it. It's, it's really incredible because, um, you know, I remember when I got the, the samples, or actually when, when the pallets arrived, right, of, of, of product. And I started to go through them and looked at every single... You know, they're all unique. Every one of oh, them, the, yeah. the, they're not all stamped exactly the same. The coloration is different in every one, so it has a very natural, organic look, right? And then the sun throughout the day, you know, hits that mm. in different ways. And so it, it's constantly changing what the roof looks like, right? And that's just a really, really nice aspect of this, right? It's almost like a living part of the house, that's right? Awesome. It's got a real organic nature to it, right? Yeah. That's great. And a little morning frost on it, it's beautiful too. <laughs> Just don't walk on it on the no, morning frost. Don't. <laughs> but if you do walk on it, you're not gonna break any of the tiles. Well, that's yeah, the one good good point. Thing you gotta go. That's a good point. Yeah, good. Yeah. If you wanna find out what a Brava roof might cost for your house, click this video right here. And if you're interested in just finding out more information about synthetic roofing materials like Brava, click this playlist right here.